the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Listen, God will speak to you as a kingdom financier. And while you have just five, ten million in your account, home and abroad, God is going to be saying, write the list of mission agencies that you are going to be building houses for them. And you are writing and feeling stupid that you are hearing God. You regret pressing into clarity of hearing because now you don't have an excuse to say it's not God you are hearing. And you write out over 30, 40, 50 mission agencies. And God says a time will come soon when you will be giving them at least a million dollars every year and while you are writing there you are laughing at yourself your wife comes to check what you're writing you cover it because you know that if she sees that thing hear me you are writing it knowing that the one who speaks does not have a future there is nothing like future with god so he's not waiting to see he has already listen if god speaks every mechanism to be put in place to make sure that word comes to pass if you understand his ways it's already there one of the ways you know that your season is ready is when god speaks god does not speak when things are not ready i've taught you this maybe not in abuja I hope that we'll have the time to discuss it to know that the voice of silence is the voice of god too when god is not talking he's saying something you need to understand the language of silence are we together there are many of us right now who have plans and goals and visions that from a human standpoint when you look at it as a january god told you you will celebrate christmas in your own house this is february already you are laughing because the investment you were hoping will work you've not heard from them and it looks like what you are hearing is not very the bank is not the bank is not cooperating with you when he said that you said amen because someone was going to buy a property under your care and you were hoping 10 percent from buyer and seller will come you see the thing about god is god speaks in a way that nothing around you nothing around you will attempt to replace him if there is something that he can ease that can easily take his place he will not speak i know what i'm saying no his integrity now listen how are you sure that i don't have some money in my pocket maybe i have something maybe a hundred dollars a hundred naira something in my pocket if i say come and collect it and you are you are looking at the signs to check whether is there any shape of money or whatever it is that's already unbelief because you will not get anything that way remember what james said let that man not think he will get anything from god i'm just giving you an example all right if i tell you come leave your job let me make it serious leave your job leave everything and come to me here and i will give you something from this pocket now that can build you a house buy you a car and sort you for the rest of your life it's just an example if I ask you, come, let me give you something you will eat with today. It makes sense because notes are usually flat and small. But I say, leave your job, come and stand and let me put my hand in this flat pocket and give you something that you will use for the rest of your life. You will most likely not believe it, but that is the character of faith.
before you focus on what god is saying focus on who is talking are we together see god is mighty I, i'm praying for you that every unbelief that makes you believe god is small every unbelief that makes you think god is a joker or he's praying april fool with you i pray that it will live your life now in the name of jesus christ mm. i have seen god do things in this small life i have seen god move in ways that no human explanation would suffice i have seen god do things in my life i have seen god do things in this ministry that at the time he said it it did not make sense but total dependence on his word ah. god is speaking to you tonight he has told you many things that don't look impossible that or that don't look possible I want you to stand and trust him he's told you mother that before you go to be with the lord you will see god lift your children and as it is none of them seems to be showing any signs of a visionary life i want you to trust that word and trust the one speaking i have searched and searched all the earth searched and searched all the earth and found that I have searched and searched all the earth, searched and searched all the earth and found that Babuanika America. Yeah. Babuanika America. Yeah, yes. Babu Wani Kamaraka Babu Wani Kamaraka Ya Yesu Babu Wani Kamaraka Lord I have searched and searched all the earth Searched and searched all the earth and found that Babu Wani listen i was in cameroon last year when this song came it was in the morning i was meditating on the faithfulness of god on this subject of faith this is the first time we're singing it here i'm sure soon this my people will find a way i'm singing it i was meditating on everything god began to tell me usually i travel and i travel with my notebooks notebooks of 10 15 years and I open those rough notebooks and I see some of the things and usually when I write what God said I put dates and I'm looking at some of those things and I said ah that was when this song came that I've searched and searched let me tell you this never laughed at a man that God has spoken to you will bite your fingers in shame for the rest of your life you may see a woman now you may see mama now you may see that preacher two members know nothing if god has spoken i want you to clear the way because you are about to write another epistle of god's wonder and faithfulness there are some of you seated here the call of god is upon your life you are still in your season of training don't be intimidated by the enormity of the call don't ask where the money will come from don't ask where the anointing will come from but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded that he is able god has integrity god has integrity god has integrity he can be depended upon listen to me time will fail me to tell you things that god said would happen in my life would happen in this ministry that made no sense whatsoever as at the time he said it bible faith is not just based on a verse of scripture it's based on a recognition many people have disappointed you in your life they've said things i will help you 
I will give you a job. Come by January or February, you are used to disappointments and you have added God in the list. When God speaks, he, his voice is sounding to you like that politician who deceived you. His voice is sounding to you like, no! The king of the universe has integrity. This is the reason why we can tell the whole world come and hear his counsel as he has given us and we know they will hear because he asked them to hear can i tell you this many of you are unable to move in your life god has told you that house will be built but you are sitting and wondering all of the connections you think will help you build the house have failed and you are sitting there saying god will you do it can i tell you this there is something about believing god even when you don't understand him let your mind catch up later on but for now i believe you shake away that unbelief shake away that unbelief you are not the first to be a millionaire you are not the first for god to lift you are not the first person god is speaking to the bible is full of men and women who god spoke to them ask abraham gideon was hiding in judges chapter 6 hiding when god met him and told him he said why are you hiding gideon and he said why wouldn't i hide where are the miracles come out of that place of hiding you are going to defeat the midianites the bible says gideon blew a trumpet and thirty thousand people came god said it's too much this is not how i walk reduce them so that the glory there, there is something i want to do for some of you god has spoken to you you are the breadwinner in your family a family of over 20 people and god is saying you will feed them as if you are buying recharge card and it does not make sense because you are saying god i didn't even go to school and god is saying can you trust me there are some of you helped us under the anointing there are some of you god sent to abuja here you go to abuja with only one ghana must go you are still roaming around wondering i don't know why i'm here if god sent you sit back and watch the monarch of the universe begin to honor your life and honor your obedience commanding the supernatural the integrity of god i have searched and searched all the earth searched and searched all the earth and found that the one who speaks and does it the one who speaks and has the ability to defend what he has said businessman don't sit down and use your bank balance to determine whether this year will be a great year or not. Take your eyes away from those accounting things and look at Jesus. Jesus told you that this year is your year of marvelous light. Believe it. See, listen, 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 listen. As simple as what I'm teaching you is, you will recycle years of stagnation if you cannot believe God. You want to know how to believe god study children study children we have some of our little ones here if i call these children now in the midst of this fiery service i call them and say junior how are you fine what do you want aeroplane you hear what the boy is saying i asked him what i wanted he's not going to say lollipop children don't say those things again we were the ones who said those things these children said aeroplane and they mean it they don't mean the type we used to say aeroplane and then you stand there feeling guilty for asking aeroplane and that child will come back with confidence and remind you daddy or uncle or whatever where is my aeroplane you were the only one who thought he was playing in his mind and in his world he believed that for you to have spoken 
you would have vetted your ability to provide it so when god speaks to you and says man of god from where you are the nations will be hearing your voice don't sit down and say i think i have one auntie in canada there is one uncle who loves me you've already disconnected yourself that is the reason why most times god allows everything we depend on to fail then you come to him and say god are you still saying what you said he said i have not changed you are the only one who was going around looking for my word somewhere else i have not changed when i said i will lift you i meant it when i said i will honor you i meant it i hope god is working your heart tonight so that you believe god there are no guarantees in life anybody that gives you any promise of any guarantees only joking at every point of every man's life there are hours he's asleep and at that time is only the god of the universe who gives life men have promised and were not able to live up to their promise there were people who said in two weeks i will give you an appointment not knowing by the next day they were going to transfer them but who transfers god who relocates him who moves him to another branch are we together right where you are standing in one minute lay your hands on your head and cause unbelief lord i'm sorry for not depending on you for not trusting you please follow carefully just do what i'm asking you to do pray and decree and declare his integrity god can be trusted god can be trusted god can be trusted the healer can be trusted the lifter can be trusted the blesser can be trusted the announcer can be trusted the one who empowers can be trusted the deliverer can be trusted in the name of jesus christ thank you very much say his ability that's the next thing please sit down two attributes of god number one is his integrity his ability to be consistent and stay consistent with what he has said number two his ability bible faith is built on the awareness of god's ability his ability second chronicles chapter 20 let's read from verse 6 very quickly please second chronicles i tell you there is a build up of fire in this place second chronicles 20 let's start from verse 6. and said O lord our god god of our fathers art thou not god in heaven thou rulest not thou over the kingdoms of the heathen and in thy hand is there not power and might so that none is able to withstand you we're reading to verse 9 art thou not our god who did drive out the inhabitants of this land before thy people israel and gave it to the seed of abraham thy friend forever and they that dwell therein and have built thee a sanctuary there for thy name saying verse 9 now the last verse if when evil cometh upon us as the sword judgment or pestilence or famine we stand before this house and in your presence for thy name is in this house and cry unto thee in our affliction then thou will hear and help he was talking about a, a display of the might and the power of god in second peter chapter one when we read from verse two to four popular scripture second peter one two to four second peter 1 1 2 to 4 grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of god and of jesus our lord verse 3 according as his divine power say his divine power 
his ability it says his divine power has given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue verse 4 whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by these we might be the partakers of his divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lost his divine power ephesians 3 and verse 20 now unto him that is there are people who are willing but are not able it takes more than integrity to perform you can have the willingness but do you have the ability i want to give you the job but i do not have access you need both integrity and ability he is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us listen to me if you can rest your faith on the integrity of god and on his ability do you know what i remember i think it was during the crusade in my village day one or day two i can't remember which of the days now that we had over in december there was someone who was seated somewhere in front i think the person could not walk or something like that and i stood there and all of a sudden i heard in my voice to tell that person to stand up and walk do you know listen i'm a human being too my father and my mother they are both alive you think i you, i want to be embarrassed and just come and disgrace myself in the presence of the whole world no it takes something more than what your optical eyes is seeing how do you tell someone who most likely has gone to the hospital and met consultants and is unable to walk and you look at that person and with one command in the presence of people you don't send a quiet text message and say try to move your leg and let me know let me let me know whether the thing is working many of you have been in positions where someone was mandated to believe you and you felt the pain of not being believed is that true for instance you tell someone sit down here i'll arrange a meal for you and you return back to find out that the person was trying to make an extra arrangement because the person was not sure and you look at yourself and say do i look like someone who will come and waste my time lying to you you see that's an example of the pain in the heart of god when we do not trust him when god says i'm going to lift you and you say god um let me give you a few information that you don't know one i'm in nigeria two i'm not sure you are aware of what nigeria is going through right now number three are you aware that the family that i come from it will take deliverance first before prayer or breakthrough and the rest because of the kind of yokes that are there and then he's listening to you while you are praying and then you wrap it up by saying in jesus name amen and god says look at what this person is saying the holy ghost now leads you to the bible to open it and see the many things that he did can i be honest with you the things you read in this scripture were not parables they actually happened that he parted the red sea it actually happened the sun stood still it actually happened john chapter 20 the last verse many miracles the bible says did jesus in the presence of his disciples jesus did not do a few miracles many miracles give us the last verse what will be the last verse now is it verse 20 or 31 let's do 30 and 31 many miracles jesus did or many other signs he did in the presence of his disciples which were not recorded in this book 31 it says but these are written that ye might believe that jesus is the christ the son of god and that believing ye might have life through his name listen to me say after me in the name of jesus, name of jesus. i believe the lord 
I believe his promises over my life because he is a God of integrity and he has all ability now you are manifesting Bible faith there is a justification for fear except that when your fear collides with these twofold realities the integrity of God and the ability of God one time the father of I think an epileptic patient came to Jesus and said that if you are willing you can help my son Jesus said I am willing see that and then he manifested his power and the son was healed there are people who have ability but they do not have integrity there are others who have integrity but they do not have ability the one who can really help is the one who has both integrity and ability you doubt whether god has ability look at what god is doing through our lives it will take an unwise person to not see that this is the ability of god men cannot do this there are results that are outside of the range of men it will take the power of the holy ghost the ability of the spirit is someone learning now so for whatever it is that god has told you remember backing his word is his integrity and his ability so we can believe him that he tells you this year 2022 will not be like any other year in your life and yet you read everything in the news and you see that it is negative and negative all through and the devil now tells you you better don't fool yourself don't create any expectation because it will not happen i'm speaking to you tonight by the spirit the god that we're talking about is the god of integrity and the god of ability when you find what he has said from scripture when you find what he tells you in your personal place of prayer you have found the forces that engage his integrity and engage his ability i've had the privilege of helping many people in my life and i say this with all humility and to the glory of god and sometimes people come to me especially maybe children or something seeking maybe help school fees or whatever it is and many times as i look at them i'm already wrapped up with compassion and i'm looking at them and i'm asking myself already what do i do to help this child and then you see them come and they say please we don't know if you can help our child and the school fees maybe something as little as 20 30 or fifty thousand. and i look at them and i'm happy because i have the ability it is painful to have integrity and not have ability and you stand looking at this poor child with tears holding a good result but no opportunity for continuity because the wherewithal is not there and how many of you have been before a situation where you know it is within your power to solve it that restfulness and that confidence god will never scratch his head over your issues no there is nothing you will ever go through that will make god say wow this is interesting gabriel and the rest are, are you aware of this your situation will never be as bad as that of job your situation will not never be as bad as the saints samaria where women were eating their children have you eaten your child have you considered it then the famine is not that bad and yet in one day by this time tomorrow literally by this time tomorrow not not a prophetic tomorrow a real timeline tomorrow and things just change like that let me stand by the spirit and speak to someone that in the name of jesus by this time tomorrow by this time tomorrow what you wrote on your prayer request by this time tomorrow what you prayed over this morning what you discussed with your husband by this time tomorrow over the issue of that job by this time tomorrow 
in the name of Jesus Christ please sit down it takes integrity and it takes ability some of you by reason of this teaching tonight i'm going to be sharing with you a few principles now we'll pray you may have to return back home tonight and get down on your knees and say lord i'm sorry i i, I have allowed the circumstances around my life to blind my eyes to make me think that you are not there for me i have allowed circumstances in my life i've allowed things around me to make me feel you are less powerful than you are but listen to me god is almighty he is not just mighty your situation notwithstanding do you believe this about god god does not do april fool god does not play games with people when he looks at you and says i am lifting you find rest he will many things god has spoken to us about that does not make sense right now make sure you don't throw that piece of paper it was you and him that wrote that keep it and watch the wonder working power of god are you blessed now you see the reason why many people's faith does not work because their faith is not based their, their faith is based on nothing permit me to call it a fired faith that is not standing not backed up and supported by anything i believe god based on what i just believe god don't ask me that question i believe you can't get results that way why do you believe him if they ask you now why do you believe that god will do it for you now you have an answer because he's a god of integrity and because he's a god of ability yes he's a god of ability he knows where to draw destiny helpers and financial killers to come and stand by you yes sir a dear pastor friend i think a year or two maybe three years ago he called me one day and he said apostle he said you have to pray for me and we're joking very nice wonderful friend and he said something happened a man called me from somewhere and asked and said they told me you are close to apostle joshua selma and he said yes he said i want to send so 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 amount to you help me and give him and the man sat down there on that call and he said i won't lie to you apostle the team paid me how can this man know that i'm also a man of god and call me and find out and say do you know apostle he has protocol he has people he has a finance department and you now call me as a man of god and then ask me to give you my account number let you wire money and say help me and give him and it's not like you even say okay this part is for you take it and we laughed over it it was so funny but then when i was done with that call i just thought about it i said my god if it means him using a fish it will look for you from wherever a fish has no business can the teeth of a fish bite coin but not when god wants to get it to you he is that powerful if it means for a donkey to talk no shadow you will light up mountain you will climb up coming after me no wall you will kick down why you will see now coming after me no shadow you will light up mountain you will climb up coming after me no wall you will please sit down now let me give you very quickly we're about to pray my god the waters have been stirred keys to producing bible faith 
let me give you a few keys right now someone is about to fire unbelief out of your life once and for all that you will begin to produce extraordinary results results that will surprise you that those who knew you january will turn and say what happened to you from last week to this week what shifted and you tell them my faith from little faith is moved to exceeding great faith to producing Bible faith. Write it down, please. Mm. Mm. No shadow you won't light up Mountain you won't climb up Coming after me No wall you won't kick down Lie you won't tear down no shadow you will light up Mountain you will climb up Coming after me No wall you will keep down Now please sit down Listen I tell you sincerely I I may not claim to understand everything i'm a student also even in the school of faith but believe me when i tell you i know what i'm talking about the things that we have seen the things that we have heard the things that our hands have handled even of the word of life this is what we teach if you pay attention to what i'm about to share with you you will manifest bible faith and command the supernatural in a way that you will be surprised the mountain you are seeing is only relative to the size of your faith listen a little ant hill with respect to the ant it is a skyscraper but with respect to man it is something you just walk over your faith can add your height in the spirit you become a giant in the spirit and now join the heroes of faith who through faith subdued kingdoms wrought righteousness shut the mouth of lions are you ready please sit down very quickly key number one what does it take to produce bible faith that commands the supernatural number one light the first key that controls bible faith is light the power of knowledge put light slash knowledge light knowledge knowledge of what the promises of god knowledge of what the principles of the kingdom light you dominate with respect to the kind of spiritual illumination that you have please listen to me listen very carefully you will never rise beyond the level of light and illumination that you have psalms 82 and verse 5 they know not neither will they understand they walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course our fathers have cried over the issue of light high level spiritual illumination the opening of a man's eyes to know the ways of god i've taught you here every koinonia service is a feast of light god opening our eyes it takes light to turn night to day it does not just take time it takes light you can be in a dark stadium and then on all the lights and the lights can come with a coordinated effort and turn that night in that stadium to look like day that people can play a football match in the night and yet when you are viewing you think it is day because of the level of light that is there everybody say light most believers are ignorant of the promises of god 
most believers are ignorant of the principles of the kingdom it is the reason why many people cannot manifest bible faith question what do you know that god has said concerning your finances what do you know that god has said concerning your excelling in life what do you know that god has said concerning victory over demons over principalities and powers your faith must be based on what god said question do you know what he has said and do you know all he has said because he did not just say one thing alone i have taught you here when satan came to jesus the reply of jesus was it is written it is written man shall not live by bread it is written it is written it is written even when he was manifesting his purpose and destiny lo i come in the volume of the book as it is written of me to do thy will there are things that have been written concerning you do you know them can i tell you this it was not apostle paul that wrote them it was not peter that wrote them it was not the minor and the major prophets that wrote them holy men wrote as they were inspired it was the holy ghost speaking through the mouth and the hands of men i know what he has said that i shall be the head and not the tail i believe it that i will be above and not beneath i believe it listen make up your mind to be childlike when it comes to the issue of faith there is no big manism with faith many times the things of faith look very elementary so many people in a, in an attempt to show maturity they ignore these things to their peril it is this childlike approach that has produced giants of faith when you listen to fathers like papa copeland teaching on faith sometimes it's so elementary it looks like they're just it's like it's like a kindergarten kind of thing yet you look at the results they have defended their understanding of faith for decades and they are still doing it are we learning everybody say light this year you must make up your mind make up your mind that your eyes and your ears will remain gates that will be flooded with light so that your destiny will be able to command results when you know little you cannot do much with little this is a kingdom that is knowledge dependent this is the kingdom that is knowledge dependent dear people of god go and find out let me tell you this there is a kind of knowledge that you need how to know what you don't know you have to learn how to know what you do not know how to find out what you do not know don't wait for knowledge to come and meet you search for it my finances is not working and you can take a day or two listen to me in prayer and fasting maybe you are a man of god and ministry is struggling financially deal with it so that it does not distract you in the future you don't want to have to manipulate people because of financial pressures open down my eyes that i may behold wondrous things from out of thy law lord i want to walk in integrity as a minister open my eyes to sort this area once and for all and light from heaven you will see something you have been looking at but was not seen and when you stand on the strength of that light he said write prosperously because of truth when you find truth they are life to those who find them and health to their flesh i look at my life today and with all humility i thank god for the time and the attention i gave to certain things i am grateful to jesus for granting me that attentiveness ministry today would have been a disaster if these keys were not found let me charge you therefore some of you may need to minimize running around and sit down it is time to feast on light light with proof are we together 
you're a man of god and it looks like the supernatural manifestation of the hand of god is not seen in your life no miracles no signs and wonders you can stay with the word i remember a time in my life i had my my phone had there's there's this um audio all the words of jesus only the words of jesus the words of jesus alone not any other word everything jesus said in the bible they compress it in an mp3 i would listen to it and sleep and wake up and listen to it and sleep and wake up and listen i want to hear what jesus is saying he must talk to me everything in the gospels down to revelation it will repeat i will put it on auto repeat and I'm, i don't know if he's a, 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 a an advice medically i'm just telling you what i did i slept and woke up and slept and woke up and slept and woke up until my spirit knew that something was happening there you must invest in knowledge you must invest in knowledge please go and buy books don't wait for knowledge to come and meet you go to koinonia global there are all kinds of teachings listen to them don't assume don't assume that you know and don't listen once i submit to you i'm standing and i'm speaking to the whole world i would not stand here and tell lies there are there are materials audio materials that i have listened to single-handedly I know you may think it's exaggeration but i've listened to them nothing less than five to eight thousand times one message i put it on auto repeat like that and it keeps counting the goal is not just to be aware of what is being said the goal is to transport it into my spirit the alternative to this pathway is to go and look for power somewhere and it backfires back on you but if this is how you want to take god's way god is not a magician he's a miracle worker this is the labor dimension of faith that most people do not want these scriptures that i'm quoting is not just coming from heaven thank god for his grace but there was something in my mind for the holy ghost to work with yes it's god speaking through me but he's using my brain and my mind too to speak are we together there are believers today tell me one scripture you know concerning your protection nothing tell me one scripture you know concerning your victory nothing tell me one scripture you know that tells you your home is secured nothing tell me one scripture you know nothing i just know god is faithful we know general statements like that god is faithful he can't fail me i know tell me one scripture you know that guarantees that ministry will not fail for you tell me one scripture you know that guarantees that god will use you greatly as i'm saying it now just do the rehearsal in your mind many of you will find out that in truth there is almost nothing no i found your word and i did eat it it was a joy and i rejoice into my soul is god challenging us go and get bible on tape go and get bible on um, mp3 get all kinds of things listen to it put a flash behind your television that has scripture playing listen to it instead of listening to something that is luciferian and is destroying your life the remaining small faiths that you had died as soon as you listen to it I'm not saying don't disconnect with your world no but invest in your spirit you are going far and can i tell you the days that we live in it is men who have faith that will survive these days believe me you cannot use another man's faith the same way you cannot use another man's light to drive he can help you temporarily but you will need your own headlamp to drive two what is the second key to producing bible faith meditation meditation first timothy chapter 4 please from verse 15 to 16 let's hurry up so we can pray first timothy 4 15 read with me please koinonia is projected ready one to read meditate upon these things uh-huh give yourself wholly to them that thy profiting may appear to all meditate on these things 
meditate on these things do you know what it means to meditate to meditate means to ponder until understanding is established to meditate does not just mean to look uh -uh. the goal of meditation is to produce understanding knowledge gives you awareness meditation gives you understanding or comprehension now you understand the working knowledge of that principle behind what you have read most believers don't meditate unfortunately did you know that most of the world religions encourage meditation even though they have the way they do it but people sit down and meditate until their bodies they are what they call it now their spirits leave their bodies believers don't meditate how in the world are you going to study a scripture when you are running to go and get some food in the kitchen and you're just your bible is on your hand and you quickly come back and you just say i finished it at least i finished one chapter now you look for one three verse or four verse chapter in psalms and just read it and just breeze it over and contained in it is the power to set you free let me tell you the power of meditation all the disciples came to check for the resurrected jesus and they did not see him in a hurry they ran back yet he was there but a woman came and she looked at the tomb it was empty and she refused to go she stood at the garden there and she kept looking she kept looking looking at the tomb all of a sudden she saw two angels and he said this jesus began to talk to her it took staying there to see the disciples came and they just looked and ran back but the woman stayed there stayed there until she saw meditation means to stay till you see god i've listened to many messages about finances i've listened to many messages about spiritual power about the gifts of the spirit but there has to be something i do not understand open my eyes now the spirit of god can refer you to a message that you will listen to that will buttress on that point at the end of it you say this is it by the next time you go for a meeting it will be as if you put a charm in your pocket there will be such manifestation of the power of god because you have found it someone prophesy i will find it in the name of jesus the mystery that connects your today and your tomorrow you will find it in meditation as you are meditating give the holy spirit a chance to show you things that can change your life give the holy spirit a chance to show you things that can turn your life around i listen to my own teachings myself i don't say i'm the one who preached it i listen to it this message now i'm going back to listen to it no matter how tired i discipline myself to listen because in it i will hear something that came from him through me most believers are lazy meditation is a labor dimension of faith you will take out time and sit down and think the psalmist will usually say sila sila means stop and ponder and think i've taught you here that there are times you can listen to a message of one hour for six hours because you are stopping after five minutes what did he just say and you have to look for another scripture and look at it and repeat again until your spirit hears something i pray for someone as you begin to meditate may you hear what others did not hear may you see what others did not see in the name of jesus christ are we together number three are you ready now the third step to manifesting bible faith is the power of prayer prayer mark eleven twenty four. you cannot divorce bible faith with prayer mark eleven twenty four. therefore i say unto you what things soever ye desire when ye pray not if you pray when ye pray believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them prayer you've studied the word you've understood it and many times you see prayer is like salt you are never you don't you don't really pray too early or too late any part of the faith equation you can water it down just like salt 
if you cook with a salty water the food will not go bad just because it's a salty water if you forget to add salt at the end of the cooking you can still put the salt prayer is like that so from the beginning of your study you can start praying even while meditating you can start praying and then you can allocate a proper time for prayer let me tell you how to pray this kind of prayer you see when you are praying the kind of prayer that produces faith you have to pray in line with the area or the issue where you are trusting god to see results in are we together yes aside from praying in tongues you can now pray in the name of jesus i decree and declare this grace for favor is coming upon me i'm studying favor i know that i need it i found out the necessity for favor in my life i've studied it i've studied materials and you are praying your mind is on the idea of prayer while favor while you are praying believers don't pray or we pray amiss you can pray i spent one month it was even in february i remember i don't know what year and i can't remember i wrote it down i spent one month studying on favor because i found out that ministry is hard without favor if the favor of god is not on you you would do ministry as if god did not call you you will suffer financially you will suffer emotionally nothing will happen in your life and you may think it is not an issue except that you wouldn't know when you begin to compromise in ways that will surprise you because of financial pressure so i knew that if i did not get the favor of god it would be risky i studied i studied read materials every scripture that talks about favor in the bible as far as we know i read it and meditated upon it studied the lives of specific people according to the scripture that says follow them who through faith and patience have obtained the promise studied the lives of people who i saw the favor of god walking the day that grace landed i knew it had arrived i welcomed it it was a triumphant entry into my life and i shut the gate you are not going out again now that you are in here and when it comes he speaks he speaks you think you just like me just like that no <laughs> i just felt embarrassed over what i said but it's true <laughs> you don't just like people like that my dear people there is a grace so if everybody hates you in your office before they sack you go and get teachings on favor remember what i taught you about territorial dominion evil will continue when you leave it when you see signs of hatred it's already that favor is not there don't sit down and be hoping that they will sack which one is easier to lend favor or pray that the manager will be sacked let the principles of favor and stay there what if the the person who hates you is the owner of the company when a man's ways pleases the lord he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him please don't downplay what you are learning today the favor of god upon your life all of a sudden you come to a place and you you see that god himself begins to open doors for you your life becomes an expression of the mercy and the grace of god and people will come to meet you and say how come this is happening you will tell them it's the grace of god but you will explain to them too that i can show you there is a way there is a way the favor of god can come upon a man many of us here i need of that grace for favor it is clear everybody say prayer so we're exploring the keys to bible faith number one knowledge light number two meditation number three prayer please invest time praying you're not going to have strong faith without a rich and a robust prayer life but ye beloved building up yourselves on your most holy faith praying in the holy ghost
take out time to pray use your night if god grants you that grace most people are busy in the day except if you dedicate the day for a retreat use your night and pray while you are praying every unbelief is giving way and now you can trust god number four are you ready the fourth key to releasing bible faith is word-based confession word-based confessions psalm 107 and verse 2 let's hurry up please psalm 107 and verse 2 let the redeemed of the lord say so let the prosperous of the lord say so let the lifted of the lord say so the first instruction is say the second instruction is don't say what you want say what he said say so means repeat as you have heard homologio confess repeat as you have heard let the redeemed of the lord say i am redeemed let the blessed of the lord say i am blessed let the lifted of the lord say i am lifted so you don't just talk your words become a bible-based confession if it is in line with what god has said i am the head and not the tail i am above and not beneath exalted by the spirit of god according to deuteronomy 28 1 and 2 are we together now you have to believe this by the power of the spirit that in the name of jesus no divination an enchantment i don't know about you but about me no divination surely they shall gather but because their gathering is not of the lord they will scatter as soon as they gather you are in ministry you better know this because i tell you sincerely it is only god when we get to heaven that you will see the amount of divinations and enchantments daily over your life i say it humorously that it's only when we get to heaven that we'll know what part of the food we ate that was designed to kill us and that's the one you you probably enjoyed may no evil come near your dwelling in one minute while you are seated i want you to open your mouth and begin to declare everything you know the word says about you don't think this is a childish act in the spirit speak i am the head and in the name of jesus i'm not the tail above and not beneath gentiles come to my light kings to the brightness of my rising in the name of jesus christ i grow in wisdom i grow in stature i grow in favor with god and with man i spend my life serving the purposes of the kingdom in the name of jesus the fullness of my days i fulfill a thousand shall fall by my side someone speak ten thousand by my right side none shall hurt me with my eyes will i see and behold the reward of the wicked pray oh death where is your sting oh grave where is your victory in the name of jesus christ immune from the scorching tongues of men i go from glory to glory grace to grace in the name of jesus i am like a well watered garden planted in the house of god therefore i flourish in the courts of our god even in old age i am fat and flourishing someone prophesy blessed is the man that feared the lord that delighted greatly in his commands his seed shall be mighty upon earth the generation of the upright shall be blessed wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness endures forever speak over your body i walk in health in the name of jesus christ longevity is my portion hallelujah can i tell you this listen listen please listen one of the assignments of the spirit of depression is to bring you to a point of silence 
where you no longer can speak the only thing that comes out of your mouth is <sighs> nigeria that's not a word-based confession when you wake up in the morning while you are stretching that should be your speaking this is the day that the lord has made when you are leaving your house in the morning you get up with joy my going out is blessed my coming in is blessed i am blessed in the city when you're about to travel it to your village you confess that i am also blessed in the country in the name of jesus christ that no enchantment and no divination against me listen you don't need to live in fear when you can speak you hear a negative report don't insult whoever is speaking because people are at different spiritual levels someone looks at you and says look it looks like um this your body everything is all right you can thank them and go back and shut the door behind you a body has thou prepared for me in the name of the lord jesus i decree and declare my organs are functioning properly i prophesy by the power of the holy ghost as my days are so is my strength renewed you have to believe this thing i'm telling you you are a man of god speak over the work that he has given you don't wait for someone to prophesy over you in the name of jesus koinonia you are blessed you are going from glory to glory serving the purposes of the kingdom with love and integrity serving god sincerely souls are coming to be saved jesus spent his life speaking the word of god himself spoke let me tell you many of us what we call speaking is lamentation if it is not the word of god you are not doing bible-based confession speaking your problem to god yes to yourself is not helping anything you speak the word of god call your children can i tell you parents let me charge you as your children get up before they go to school lay hands on them give them confessions to make i'm blessed highly favored anointed serving jesus that's right and you give them a big hug forward march to school so that before they hear rubbish there there is already a covering of scripture don't let other people speak into the life of your children and you are silent part of the assignment of priesthood is speaking speak over your home walk around from the kitchen to the bathrooms and you are declaring in the name of jesus the hand of the lord is upon this house everyone who steps his feet in this house is blessed i decree and declare carry the photo of your loved ones lay hands on it carry the photo of your family members lay your hands on it decree and declare declare ye that thou mightest be justified confession are you learning now bible faith is released at the instance of confession i made up my mind to love jesus so much but to love my destiny too so much you will never coerce me into speaking negatively about my destiny i could laugh over things when i hear people say it but even my spirit knows what i take seriously i have no business saying anything over my life and my destiny that i do not intend for it to happen are we together parents let's manage anger and trust god for victory over it because many of us have produced children that look like they are cursed and that cause came from us when you call a child stupid boy you call a child arm robber you call a child whatever prostitute you call a child whatever name by the time they get to teenage that prophecy has built many of us that's what has been hovering around your head negative things dull head how are you and they force you to say sir and you are agreeing and before you know it you find out that nothing works for you but let me speak over your life if there is anybody who has spoken over your life whether in ignorance and they have said things over you that is hanging over your life i stand tonight by the privilege of priesthood and i declare every negative speaking over you that has been programmed to your destiny let it leave your destiny now in the name of jesus please sit down 
we are almost done number five the third step to releasing bible faith is actions of obedience please underline that one this is a major requirement if it is to be called bible faith in addition to knowledge in addition to meditation that produces understanding in addition to prayer addition to confession your faith should not just stop with confession this is the major challenge of pentecostals and charismatics we have defined the entire scope of acting upon the word to just speech it does not end in speaking there is a doing actions of obedience deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1 and 2 just write it for reference it says it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the lord thy god to observe and to do take note to observe and to do all his commandments which i command thee this day that the lord thy god will set thee on high above the nations of the earth too and this blessing shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the lord thy god there is the doing of faith joshua chapter 1 and verse 8 this book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth then he says but thou shalt meditate therein day and night you see your mouth you see meditation now he says that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and thou shalt have good success john 13 and verse 17 final scripture for that point john 13 and verse 17 if ye know these things happy are ye if ye do them the doing part is where many believers miss it out on the on the the equation of faith most believers do not do haven't heard received instructions we do not do the holy ghost speaks to you you do not do scripture speak to you there is no doing and every time there is no doing you do not commit god to perform bishop oedeko says faith is not just saying what god has said faith is doing what god has said the the demands that commit his integrity to perform for instance you want to prosper you are finding out the secret of kingdom prosperity now you've learned god has spoken about giving and all of that it does not just stop in giving alone there is a place of diligence and value and productivity now you are a giver you've given tithe you've given offerings but you are not productive you are going to be poor believe me at best you will struggle you will just have one time breakthroughs that come but you cannot perpetuate wealth that way a diligent hand shall be made fat are we together yeah you are a man of god and you desire excellence in ministry there is an engracing of god that comes upon you to anoint you but it says study to show yourself approved unto god a workman that needed not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth that means there is a place for study and if you do not stay with material stay with the holy ghost to study shame will be imminent dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashka Nakata Branda Katekatos. Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko to break a take a lekata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.